In this video, we're going to look at the various features of the point of sale system. To begin with, on the top, you have the barcode or pin field and the client lookup field. If you have a barcode scanner hooked up to the point of sale screen, you can simply scan the client's barcode, which will then load the client details on the right. If you're not using a barcode scanner, you can simply type in any part of their first or last name, and it will give you a refined list that you can then choose the client from. Click Load Client, and it will load the client up on the right. In this case, we can see that this client has an overdue invoice, so that will be displayed on the point of sale to give you the opportunity to collect those funds from the client. By clicking Collect, it will simply add that amount of this invoice into their current POS invoice. Now let's say on top of that they're buying a water or some other product. You simply click product. You have your list of subcategories. Click on the subcategory and then click on the item you're selling. That will then load the item over on the right. If they're buying a package, similar system, you have your subcategories Clicking on the subcategories gives you the package names. Clicking on the package name will load up the individual items from that package into the invoice, as well as add the package name to the invoice. Before any transaction can be completed, staff must enter their PIN code so that it's recorded on the transaction. Simply typing in the PIN code in the barcode field or PIN code field will link the staff's name to the current invoice, so you have a permanent record of who completed that transaction. Once you're ready to complete the sale, you now have the different payment options. If the client's paying in cash, simply click, click cash and it will load the entire amount up. Same for Visa or any other method. If they're doing a split payment method, You'd simply type in the amount that they want to pay with the payment method you, they want to use. And when you click tab to move off that, the system will show you what the balance owing is. You cannot complete the sale until you match that balance owing. So now we know that this client would need to pay $4.39.88 on their visa. Tabbing off that, we now have a balance sale and you're able to record the payment. If you need to apply a discount, you can simply use the drop-down to apply a discount and then add a note for the reason for the discount. If you have a client that has a stored payment method on file, it will give you possibly additional options for payment methods. In this case, hovering over the stored shows that this is linked to their checking account and the other stored links to their visa. This would then apply the current payment to that payment method. Keeping in mind that these transactions are not necessarily processed until the next, next business day. You can also use an in-house account as a payment option. Hovering over the in-house account will show what the available balance of that in-house account is. Payment methods that you choose not to use you can turn them off in the master preferences. Once you're done, you simply click record payment and the system will complete the sale and you're complete. An invoice will be generated and the client has access to that by logging in online or you can email or print it for them.